Ammunition ISE 2019 in the HD Base T booth with Gabby Shricky from HD Base T in Balance. Welcome, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, you guys are showing several different types of technology, several right. advances that you're doing in these little individual uh, kiosks. Uh, why don't you tell me about something about, about them and, and the education one? We are demonstrating what our technology can do and actually in the most uh, attractive and exciting applications today. The classroom, the education, as well as the corporate meeting rooms. So we'll show that later. All right, so let's talk about the, the education so right now. In the education, we actually uh, combine multiple HDBC products that showcase the technology and actual real products that are useful for the classroom, like yeah. this document camera. Okay. This is a 4K document camera by Elmo, leveraging HDBC technology to extend the, the distance to the display. And you also and got a, a, a HDBC based camera, so the HDBC out of the camera into the DVR. Correct. So we have an HDBC camera connected to an HDBC DVR, so you could have a live uh, class session as well as recording and uh, archiving it. So the DVR actually takes in an HDBC signal? Correct. It's okay. actually the same cable also powers the camera, so all you need is one single cable that powers the camera, delivers the video and audio back to the DVR. All right. Uh, let's talk about your, your huddle spaces in the corporate. Right, I would like actually to mention one more thing, mm -hmm. this VS6000 product. Okay. It's a new product, very small form factor, low power dissipation and low cost to do USB 2.0 extension as well as video, as well, sorry, as, uh, as well as audio. And here's what we do as an example. From the podium, we can extend USB 2.0 all the way to the PC. And actually, if I will do this, I can show you how we can actually uh, interact with the USB and the touch panel. This is the DVR. One more, and it will go to the. So here I can do actually a touch, touch control. All right. All right. Now let's talk about the the huddle space. Right. So as you all know, the uh, uh, corporate conference rooms are really the hottest uh, market for for us. Um, there are multiple room types and. You know, based on size, and here we actually show the smallest huddle room. Which the nice thing about it is that we only use one single cable. Oh wow! And we, this is the Type C cable, so Type C connector, and I can basically present from my phone, or I can take it to my laptop. This is a Type C uh, laptop, and once I connect it, I can use it. So a very neat room with one single cable instead of the multiple cables popping up from the table. There you go. All right, so we got go from the huddle space to a, a larger conference. All right, so from the huddle space to a larger room, uh, typically a boardroom level, maybe mid-size, you have multiple users. So now instead of having the cable move from one user to the other, we have them all cascaded over a single cable between user one, user two, and user number five, over a single cable all the way to the display. So by a press of the button, I can get control and I can present my content and even extend one display to be two displays. Hmm. In addition to that, a Vadio Legrand uh, HD Base T camera, which yep. is again powered by the same cable and is delivering HD Base T quality 4K uncompressed. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, uh, as we wrap up here, the last thing we're showing is the HD Base T over fiber and, and a video wall, kind of all in one. Correct. Actually, uh, maybe not everybody is aware of that, but we do have HD Base T over fiber. And we have two different products over the fiber. One is HDMI to HD base T over fiber. Okay. The other one is actually HD base T copper category cable converted to HD base T fiber. So you can go straight from a like let's, say, let's talk about the body of camera again. Exactly. It sends out HD base T exactly. yeah, over over exactly. I'm a pair vendor. into fiber. I already have install base of HD base T category cables products, a matrix, a, a camera, whatever. And all of a sudden, I need a longer distance and my 100 meter category cable is not enough, I can convert that HDBase T copper to HDBase T fiber and revert it back to the HDBase T So what is, what is the actual use case that you guys saw to, to develop that? Right, so in, in, the, in the matrix, most of my end nodes are really close enough at the 100 radius, 100 meters radius, but every now and then I have a very long end node somewhere maybe at a different building, and I need for that the fiber. There is where we need fiber, HBST over fiber. Okay. Um, the source of information comes over the fiber. This is what we demonstrate. And this goes into a distributed video wall. Now, most of the video walls today you see are kind of tightly together, maybe creating a bigger screen. But 
we see more and more innovation around the design where you have 10 displays on that wall, another 10 displays on a that wall. A more creative wall. installation like for digital right. signage, yeah. And the beauty about it is that there's only one cable required to connect between these displays. So I can have them tightly coupled together or very distributed. So is this one cable daisy chaining? Between daisy chaining okay. all the displays and the, because HD Base T has no latency incur, uh, uh, introduced, there's no need for special synchronization between the panels, there's no delay of the video. So less processing required to handle that. You very can cool. create a very innovative design with a video world that is distributed. All right, very cool. Um, if somebody's here at ISC and they want to come see you, where are you at? We are at hall number five, uh, S110. All right, and if they're not here and they want to follow, follow along with all these technologies, where do they go? They can come on, uh, on the website, www.valens.com. All right, very good. Gabi from uh, Valens and AC Base Team. My name is Tim Albright. For more information about us, you can find us at avianation.tv. That's avianation.tv.